No, I'm not talking about the misnamed C++ include header. And if you don't know why it's misnamed, we need to have a talk about what an algorithm actually is. And we're going to do that. I'm talking about this version. These days, popular use of the word algorithm is morphing. It is increasingly used to describe almost anything that a computer accomplishes. That includes the realms of artificial intelligence and machine learning. My mother-in-law recently presented me with a new word. She said, there's something, it's algorithm. And I said, that's strangely appropriate. <laughs> We've been using those for millennia. There's a good definition in this rather wonderful book um, about kind of logic and the limits of logic, framed as a biography of Bertrand Russell, excellent uh, uh, graphic novel, Breaks the Fourth Wall, talks about a whole bunch of stuff, including algorithms, bizarrely enough. Um, a methodical step-by-step -step procedure, described in terms of totally unambiguous instructions, which starts at a specified initial condition, and eventually terminates with the desired outcome, which means basically things like BOGO sort do not qualify as algorithms, because they are not guaranteed to terminate. Um, now, I wrote a series of blog posts on esoteric sorting algorithms, and uh, including BOGO sort, but, um, which may or may not be an algorithm, but permutation sort certainly is. And this is an awesome algorithm. Um, basically, it has factorial time complexity, uh, which is a totally OMG complexity. Um, in essence, it is an unoptimized search through the permutations of the input values until it finds the one arrangement that is sorted. Awesome. If you do it in C++, it's a very elegant, small um, uh, implementation. If you do it in Python, it's pretty small, except for the fact that Python doesn't have a way of determining if it's sorted, but you can solve that. That's easy enough. I've done it in Groovy, where you actually have to fire up a whole permutation generator and count for a special case. Now, why is all this relevant? Well, you know, yeah, again, you also have to implement is sorted. Last week, I was in Amsterdam. I was invited to give a keynote at the Kotlin conference. I pointed out that I am not a Kotlin programmer. I am barely even a Kotlin tourist. And they said, that's fine. We just want interesting stuff. I said, right, fine. And I thought that one of the things I would do is also include a narrative that led to Bogo sort, but included permutation sort. And I thought, you know what? I might as well port that to uh, Kotlin. So I did a bit of searching. And I used Twitter. It might, might well have been. No, I stopped. Um, so I, my Google foo was failing me. I was finding that I was struggling to find the relevant pieces. So enter chat GPT. Does the Kotlin standard library have a way to generate permutations of a list? Yes. Yeah, generate permutations of a list using the permutations function. Awesome. Here's an example usage. Excellent. Here's this will output. Huh, C sharp. Curious. Um, <laughs> Note the permutations function returns a sequence of lists where each list represents a unique permutation, it means permutations are generated lazily. This is very specific and also very cool. Okay, so I'm going to write something like this. It's an extension method, permutation sorted. I'm going to iterate through the permutations, and then if I'm sorted, return it. Okay, so I need to find out what does the Kotlin Steiner library have, a way to check if a list is sorted. Yes, um, you can use the assorted extension function that is available on the list interface. Awesome. So it's going to be used like that. This is very intuitive and gives me code like that. But this is a bit procedural, so we'll kind of like, yeah, that's really nice. That's really elegant. I like that. That's absolutely fantastic, except for one small problem. It's a complete hallucination. <laughs> None of the functions that it's so confidently described actually exist, even though they are rendered in loving detail right down to the fact that lazy evaluation and sequences correctly within Kotlin are used. So I had to come up with my own, and it looked like that. And I ended up interacting with ChatGPT, which first of all produced a version that didn't actually work. In other words, it returned the same, same list the right number of times. You know, three, uh, you know, n factorial times the same result. I pointed this out. It apologized, gave me another version. Then eventually I said, yeah, but you kind of said you were using sequences here. And so eventually it gave me a sequence version. And I kind of used that and then a better algorithm and ended up with this. So anyway, the whole point there is the thing you need to remember. Reality cannot be ignored except at a price. What we have in machine learning is a people pleaser that is a savant and is also sociopathic and easily bought, okay? It is not required to tell you the truth. It is just required to tell you things that keep you happy. <laughs>